And welcome back to the RCS Streaming Studio here in beautiful Burbank, California. I am Digital Stew, a little analog too. And I'm going to dive into some more cool configurations, or I could say possibilities that you have with Singular Flow, a Live View solo box, streaming to an Amazon Web Cloud machine running Nginx, and then taking a look at the result of that stream on a local VLC player. Now that is an earful. I mean, that's a... That would confuse anybody. I think it confused me. I, I barely understood what I said. But check this out. The whole purpose of this demo, and I'm going to break this down piece by piece, is not that complicated. So one of our clients here at uh, RCS, they said, you know what? Really love this platform, this Singular.Live with these great graphic overlays, and the possibilities are amazing. But we're really nervous about going into a, uh, a, a social media site, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Periscope, and Twitch, and what if something goes wrong? And um, it's a daunting a daunting sort of uh, proposition to just go straight into um, these social media sites without having the ability to QC your your work beforehand. So, um, as I've shown in a previous demo, you do have the possibility, and we'll run into this great this great possible uh, um, feature of Singular Studio, the ability to preview in Singular Studio before you go live to your social media platform. But let's just say hypothetically, you that is great but you when you do actually stream you want another I'll call it level of protection you want to stream the whole result and record it but not to say YouTube where it's set to private because even that gives you some trepidation so what you can do is you can set up a machine in the cloud an AWS machine running a piece of software called engine X and engine X uh, spelled uh, N G I N X engine X uh, free software um, really powerful, easy to install. I walked. I found a great uh, video on YouTube for the installation process, which I will post um, um, in the comments of this video. Very straightforward. But this video does require that you have some, I'll call it more advanced knowledge and comfort level in uh, configuring an AWS machine. Then once you're on that machine, um, installing Nginx, doing the proper configurations. It really didn't take me very long. Um, to set that up and once you have that you can stream to that location and then back down to a VLC um, player locally on your computer so uh, you and your your team can can QC your work before you go live so again a little bit different of a video today um, involving some new terminology some new pieces to the puzzle let's dive right in I've, I've, I've been on camera here too long let's jump over to the desktop what do we have here singular studio a handful of graphics um, that the usual suspects. I think I used this graphics package uh, from uh, Singular Studio, uh, the last demo I did, so um, which is fine. We'll go up here and we'll start the process, uh, the, begin the process with firing up an instance of Flow. So we're going to use the RTMP selection here, the real time messaging protocol. Boom, we go in and we continue it. Um, we're going to need a URL and stream key. Now I'm going to jump over to the monitor that you can't see, the primary monitor that I'm controlling. Um, this uh, this stream and the settings for this stream right now and I'm gonna copy my personal RTMP server information and stream name that um, that I got from my AWS machine and I'm gonna paste that right here so I just need to cut over to camera one because I don't want to sort of uh, publish that openly um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start flow and then jump back over to the desktop so flow has been initiated Again, I've covered that in a previous uh, video. If you need to reference that, it's available. Um, and, and it's waiting for our RTMP feed. So what I'm going to do again, I'll just a quick review. I've got this camera in the studio, the same one I used in the last demo. It's a Canon SDI output with embedded audio. It's going to make its way over to the Live View solo box. So we now need to go get our information from um, um, our encoder setup from uh, Flow. So we jump back over to Singular Studio. Again, I, I click the button up here to get to these these uh, parameters. I've got the server URL. I jump back over to Live View Solo. You can see the, the, the unit that I am configuring, again, which is this one right here, is connected. It's there. I just need to give it a destination. So we do this. We come down to generic RTMP. We'll just call this, um, let's call this private uh, stream I guess uh, it really doesn't matter but just um, give that a name and then we'll go to 16 by 9 we'll put the primary URL here we'll jump back up to or over to our um, uh, 
singular studio flow uh, um, stream name and stream key and we'll go back over to live use solo and we will paste that right here and then we're going to submit everything looks good all we have to do is start the uh, the live view box give it a moment it'll start the stream here momentarily let's see here Ooh, maybe I need to give it I might have not clicked there we go streaming started successfully you'll see it'll go red it'll say streaming and then we jump right back over to flow again as we know it might take a moment for that stream that RTMP stream to reach flow and then back down to your local um, browser here where you're viewing um, again I s enabled the preview mode so we have that that great feature in singular uh, studio uh, flow and then subsequently studio where you can see your stream your composite of your graphics and your video and audio before you actually can uh, um, initiate the stream to your destination now today we're going to a different destination we're going to a custom AWS machine running engine X and actually I'm just gonna jump over to YouTube right here this was the video that I had found this was how to set up engine X server in Windows 10 and again it was pretty straightforward this is this is free software that's available I mean obviously you have to have an account with AWS to set up your um, your machine in the cloud but it's pretty straightforward uh, let's go back over to uh, flow and let's say go live and then I'll just simply close this dialog box and we can see our what's being streamed or produced if you will graphics audio and video I always keep the audio down it's there it's just very disorientating if I turn up that audio while I'm doing the, the stream and now what I'm going to do is I am firing up um, I'll just slide it over here so you can see it here's a VLC media player I would guess that most people who are watching this type of a, uh, a video demo video are familiar with the VLC media player one of the cool things about it is it can accept an RTMP stream and you can view it so I'm just gonna slide it over to my primary monitor here and do a control N um, and there's a network setting in there and from there I'm going to copy and paste my RTMP um, uh, server URL and my unique stream name and again I don't want to expose that information in this um, video so I've done that and let me see if I can drag it over there there we go got a little stuck there um, so now what you're looking at is the output of flow you can see studio is going in there's a delay obviously because we're taking the output of studio um, which is going actually if we come here this is actually flow I want to get really down to the nitty-gritty of what's going on and let's bring up uh, the VLC player maybe I can sort of scale this window down if I can it's a little tough there we go and now we gotta get a, a sort of an interesting view of what's going on here so you've got this is actually the output of flow this is the preview right within uh, your local browser right and the output of flow is going up to this Amazon web machine doing an engine X and I'm, I apologize I should have a nice little graphic up here or something to sort of visualize that it's going up to the engine X software on the AWS machine and then I'm using VLC and simply putting in that RTMP address engine X is then um, handling the delivery of that RTMP V to this VLC viewer and voila I have a really cool solution to be able to, to be ironclad certain that nobody is watching this other than myself um, again you could do this with YouTube and set it to private but you know what happens someone might change the private setting to unlisted or public and then you have your stream before you've had an opportunity to preview it it's out there um, on those social media sites and that might not be something you want so I think that about covers it. I'll cut back over to camera one, and I will thank you guys for watching today. Um, I I will do some more of these type of videos that are uh, somewhat more uh, advanced and show you the possibilities that are out there. So thank you again for watching. It's been a pleasure, and don't forget to do it live.